Let's look at the topic two, that is sources of recruitment. Uh, when it comes to sources of recruitment, uh, as we already discussed in the previous topic about recruitment, uh, which talks about what is the kind of a way actually we are going to attract prospective candidate towards our organization in terms of developing a talent pool. So that way, if you look into it, what is the kind of a source in which we try to you know probably apply and then we try to you know get the right kind of a candidate application form that's the biggest kind of challenge so that's the way if you look into it if we contact the right kind of a sources we get the right kind of a candidates so sources of recruitment is the most important kind of an aspect uh, in recruitment now let's try to look at uh, what are the kind of a uh, broad kind of a sources of recruitment can be possible broadly we can classify the sources of recruitment into major two categories one is your internal source the second one is your external source internal source is nothing but uh, your own employee, we can try to you know transfer from one department to another department, or we can promote uh, the you know junior level employee to you know that particular position, and uh, we can retrench the employee. We retired employees, we can you know consider, and uh, you know we can ask them to you know act as a kind of an you know advisor or something like that. Similar way, external sources nothing but you know trying to source it from the external uh, you know point of view. So now let's come to the external sources of it. Uh, external sources we can conduct it through different kind of a method uh, one is you know very common kind of a method when you have a large scale kind of you know uh, vacancies or uh, more number of you know uh, opportunities or more number of uh, what you call it as openings so that point in time we can conduct a walk-ins uh, by conducting a walk-ins uh, biggest advantage is like uh, you know we can attract more number of pool and more number of people will walk in and we can able to generate a lot of you know uh, talent pools and what you call the apl application forms and all but biggest disadvantage with the walk-in is sometimes even irrelevant kind of an you know candidate also will walk in for the interview so that's one of the major kind of you know thing we need to you know probably manage and then plan that very well the so next thing is actually you know external sources uh, you can ask your own employee to refer somebody and uh, that candidate you know we can probably consider and the third one is we can come out with an advertisement and uh, through an advertisement you know we, we can try to you know probably solicit a lot of application forms and the next one is actually education institutions and associations uh, we can go to education institutions we can conduct a campus interview and through that we can able to you know probably recruit and the other kind of a thing method is professional agencies a lot of HR recruitment agencies are there we can contact them and we can ask them to you know probably supply the right kind of a material or a right kind of an application forms by the candidates and other common kind of method is nowadays uh, you have naukri.com and so many other you know timesjob.com and monster.com and so many other job portals are available we can actually post uh, the advertisement in the job portals and by looking at an advertisement there will be a lot of candidates can directly apply through that portal system also and other than that you have word of mouth you can actually spread a word of mouth about uh, hiring uh, by keeping an you know probably the notice or uh, you know keeping the kind of an uh, what do you call it as uh, uh, announcement in the uh, in the entrance of the gate and other things and all that will give an idea as to word of mouth will spread and to, through that you know we can able to attract uh, you know more number of application forms uh, there are certain factors which affect the recruitment uh, and uh, if you look at it actually you know both in externally as well as in the internal factors uh, let's come to the external factors first uh, the supply and demand can be one of the major uh, kind of a factor when we talk about supply and demand uh, there are certain kind of you know um, skill set of people might be abundantly available but the demand might be very less or it can be a reverse case the demand might be very huge but the supply might be very very less say for example highly specialized skills areas uh, you know the the kind of you know people getting it very very difficult say for example geology kind of an area where the supply is very very less but demand might be there in the government uh, you know uh, offices and all and take an example let's say labor market how the labor market is and what is the kind of you know practices what are the kind of trends have been followed all those things and other thing is like you know image or a goodwill of the organizations and political and social legal environment and un unemployment rate and the competitors these are the you know external factors which might affect our uh, you know recruitment uh, you know procedure and the internal factors if you look into it uh, the recruitment policy what is the kind of a recruitment policy we follow and uh, human resource planning how do we do it and size of the firm cost of recruitment and uh, growth and expansion plans 
all these factors actually affect the recruitment plan now let's come you know come to the major trends what is actually you know happening in recruitment uh, area if you look at it actually today majority of this recruitment activity have been outsourced to a lot of hr consultancies hr consultancy does this uh, you know outsourcing you know uh, kind of an activity on behalf of the principal companies and preliminary screening and then you know conducting an uh, a technical interview or probably the first level of interview they will conduct it through telephonic or something like that based on this you know they will shortlist the candidates and the other kind of a method is your poaching method uh, even though it's not a very ethical kind of method but uh, there are you know people try to poach from the competitors and the third kind of a method is your online recruitment nothing but an e recruitment uh, through this you know majority of the time the recruitment uh, you know uh, application has been generated now let's come to the most common method that is your e recruitment uh, it is nothing but using a technology we try to you know recruit uh, recruit employees and uh, we try to you know probably have an advertisement in the job websites like naukri.com or monster.com or timesjob.com and through which actually you know we try to uh develop our own uh, what do you call it as talent pool otherwise you know we can gen generate our own we can develop our own website or hr portal uh, where we can give a link for the employees prospective employees to you know directly uh, fill the application form and then upload their cvs and then we can you know make it more uh, user friendly that's the way also we can able to do it and uh, if you look at it today internet penetrated so much even using a mobile apps you know many people are actually trying to apply directly to an uh, you know uh, companies and all so these are the ways actually you know a recruitment trend which is picking up very very fast but whatever kind of method you adopt ultimately you know we should make sure that what is the kind of a talent pool it's available in what kind of a source that has to be you know clearly indicated and uh, according to the kind of you know uh, job posting we may have to you know select the candidate